Here's a startup, Sarah Bell, Thank famous entrepreneur in the UK. Welcome to EcoSummit. Thank you very much. In the middle, the best. Thank you. I'm Sarah Bell. I'm the founder and CEO of Tempest Energy, a technology company and licensed electricity supply business. We all hear a lot about the energy industry being in transition. In the past, it was very much an engineering-focused sector, characterized by large infrastructure-type investments. Uh, generally, they, they had a low rate of return over a long period of time, uh, but also had very low risk. And that was because the risk was primarily borne by the customers. In most countries, in terms of the government sector trying to get involved in the energy industry, uh, that focus is still the same, very much on the infrastructure investment side. Uh, meanwhile, a very different future awaits us in this transition. Uh, that future is technology-enabled. Um, many of the opportunities in that sector uh, are characterized by low investment requirements. Uh, they have a very different risk structure and tend to share risk much more with customers rather than passing all the risk to customers. Um, and those business models uh, really change the way in which the energy system operates. Um, for the innovators amongst us, the rate of change is not going fast enough. This snail is moving at a much faster pace than the rate of transition in the energy sector. And that has a big impact on how we resolve climate change. Uh, the physical structure of the energy industry uh, means that there's a difference between the physical aspects and the financial aspects. Uh, the physical aspects is handled by generation, transmission and distribution, getting the electricity to customers. But out of all that financial flow, sorry, out of all that physical flow, a financial flow drops out. At Tempus, we've analysed all the financial flows and improved the financial flows by changing the physical flows. The electricity supplier is uniquely placed to manage the whole value chain cost structure. And once you move your customers out of the expensive periods and into the lower price periods, you reduce the cost not just from the wholesale cost point of view, but also from the delivery infrastructure point of view and from the balancing point of view. So why isn't every electricity supplier doing this? Uh, that's because in spite of unbundling, most electricity suppliers sit within a larger corporate group that contains fossil fuel generation units, and those business models are still focused on maximizing revenue on the fossil fuel generation unit. Every time you move the customer away from the, the expensive periods, you reduce the profitability on that uh, generating unit. So specifically, what does Tempest do? We ac acquire customers that have the potential to be flexible. So every commercial building with an aircon unit the chiller that drives the, the cooling can be chilled at a different time point and still deliver on the comfort that the building requires. Uh, food processing, that where the food then needs to be frozen, again, the freezing of that chiller unit can be done at a different time. On the domestic side, electrically heated homes with storage heating. That, that heating can occur at different times, so it's possible to match it with oversupply of renewables or lower prices. We fit equipment in the customer's premises that basically unlocks that flexibility. And that equipment, as much as possible, goes on top of investments they have already made in building management systems that we can then leverage, so we can leverage that original investment. Uh, we use that flexibility to get their electricity as cheaply as possible, from the cost of wholesale, cost of transmission, cost of distribution and cost of balancing. So all that whole value chain is pushed down as much as possible. Because we've innovated to a lower cost base, uh, we can undercut every single electricity supplier in the country. And that's what we're doing now. Our electricity is cheaper than any other supplier. So why is this important? Because if we design an energy system that's as efficient as possible, we have a platform on which we can build a very different system, a system that actually resolves climate change. And so, so far, Tempest has been funded by consulting revenue, 
uh, grant funding. We've had a TSB grant, an Innovate UK grant, growing, the GLA Growing Places Fund grant, um, and we've also raised a small amount of investment. Uh, we're now in uh, um, our next funding round. We're raising five million primarily from uh, high net worth individuals, and that fundraising is going very well so far. Um, in terms of uh, the sort of the mission of the, uh, the company, we are very much uh, impact focused. Uh, we believe that climate change presents as an economic problem, and that's why it's so important to have an economic solution. So by aggressively outcompeting every other electricity supplier, uh, we deliver on that economic objective. Thank you very much for listening. <clears throat> Awesome. Um, Thank you. This is really a uh, demand side management to, to a big extent that you are doing, right? That's exactly right. But unlike uh, demand response technologies that only do balancing service, services, we do the whole electricity value chain. It sounds uh, more complicated, but it's more powerful if you do it right. Exactly right. And from a customer point of view, it's not complicated at all. Mm. You know, we recently signed Hertz. We're signing up some blue blue chip companies, uh, and companies are willing to be flexible if you're prepared to share the value with them. And can you translate the model into another market outside of the UK? Uh, yes, definitely. We're entering two US markets uh, early next year. What about so, Germany? Uh, yes, Germany uh, will be one of the later market entrants, but definitely Germany is a very interesting market too. Okay, cool. Wonderful company. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> and the snail, it worked. <laughs> okay.